Let's now focus on the dynamic warm-up. Spielvereinigung unter Haching represents modern football. Warming up should be as modern as well. The exercises are called movement preps, which prepare us for the actual game itself. That's why we here don't want to use static but dynamic motions to raise our body temperature, as well as to activate our neurological muscles while preparing ourselves for movements in our sport at the same time. Let's start with the hand walk. We start off with our legs parallel to each other. Now we move our fingers to the ground. Leon moves his fingers forward. Make sure his knees stay extended so that his hamstring muscles are being stretched dynamically. He performs a push-up to put pressure on his body and then moves back towards his arms with his feet. Avoid too much swinging in the center of your body. This could be caused by a lack of activity in the core muscles. Or by bending your knees, which is caused by a lack of mobility in the hamstring muscles. This activates the hamstring and core muscles, ankles and the supporting muscle groups of the upper body at the same time. The next dynamic warm-up routine is called the forward lunge with the rotation of the thoracic spine. We start off again with our legs parallel to each other. Forward lunge. Move both arms down to the lead leg. Move the thoracic spine up. Keep looking at the hand. Back down, turn to the other side. Move both arms up and get up again. This improves the strength of the leg's axis, preparing it for possible movements during the game while mobilizing the upper body and actively stretching our hip and hamstring muscles at the same time. Six to eight forward lunge reps. Make sure the lead leg remains in a straight line and not to move it sideways. The next exercise is the dynamic sideways lunge, pushing back into the starting position. It prepares players for sideways movements during the game. Lift your leg up high, sideways lunge, standing leg remains extended, now push back dynamically into the starting position. This creates an active stretching of the adductor muscles, as well as improving its strength. Make sure your upper body is upright. Don't bend it forward so that the leg muscles are working actively. Six to eight reps on each side. Well done. Head and upper body is straight. The next exercise especially activates the muscles in the hip region. Hip flexor, glutes, thigh and hamstring muscles. We start off by actively bringing our leg up. Here it's important to activate the glutes of the standing leg. Grab your foot, then stretch the thigh while lowering the upper body simultaneously. Move down and up again while the muscles are being actively stretched. The ankles are also being stabilized. This prepares players for possible poor pitch conditions. It also brings into effect the psychological factor of having the player to be very concentrated and fully focused during this exercise. Four to six reps on each side.
We perform these neuro skippings before each game to neuromuscularly prepare the players for quick motions and movements. We start off in a half squat, move our center of gravity forward, put pressure just on the balls of the feet. The player now quickly moves up and down on the balls of his feet, keeping it going for three seconds, then stop. Relax for 30 seconds, three to five reps. Move out your upper body, chest straight, forward your center of gravity and quickly move up and down.